is arranged marriage a bad thing? It's looked down upon in the West. It's considered to be embarrassing. But it's a millennia old tradition and apparently considered one of the reasons for lower than average divorce rate in India. And I believe it's helpful for those who don't like to date and see dating as a burden. But will this tradition disappear as Indians are wannabe Americans? Though I've read that even many Americans complain about how hard the dating scene has become. Uh, nothing wrong with love, marriage, but it's uh, helpful to have options in a society as not every individual is the same. Is arranged marriage a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. It's been the practice not just in India, but other parts of the world also for thousands of years. King Richard I of England, Richard Coeur de Lyon, Richard the Lionheart, he arranged his marriage with, with Berengaria of Spain. Her father's name was Sancho, if I, if I remember. Uh, Richard I, he arranged his sister's marriage to, I forget who, Toledo. He, uh, he tried to arrange his sister's marriage, sister Joanna's marriage to the son of Salahadin, Saladin. And there are so many examples of arranged marriages in the West. And in, in, in non-aristocratic society, also marriages would be arranged. So it's always been there. It's only in recent times that the West has uprooted its own traditions. And now they claim that whatever they're doing right now at the present moment is the right thing. And we, being the mentally colonized society that we are, saddled with this deep inferiority complex, we have to copy and ape, slavishly ape everything the West does. Look, I am not saying that everybody should have an arranged marriage. You can have a love marriage too. Why not? Nothing wrong with it. But why do you have to uh, look down upon arranged marriages? And you are right. I think one of the reasons why uh, the average divorce rate is so low in India is because of arranged marriages. Uh, so I have nothing against love marriages. I have nothing against arranged marriages either. It's a tradition that we've had. It's a custom we've had. It's been part of our culture, civilization. And why do we have to kill that? Um, at the end of the day in life, you know what really matters is that you have a stable marriage and, and peace between, between the two partners. And very often in these love marriages, unless you're lucky, it, 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 it very often goes bad. Because there's so many factors that go into a stable marriage. There's, there has to be compatibility, not just between the two individuals, but between the families. The, the family cultures should match and the values and the standards should match and so much needs to match. And often it's, it's issues beyond the two individuals who are married that, that cause the rift. And arranged marriages prevent all that. But yeah, we we are a deeply, deeply mentally colonized society. We have to, we are in the process of, 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 of dismantling everything that we have had for thousands of years and just blindly aping the West. The West is going to collapse. Western society is going to collapse in a few years and decades. It's, it's, the process is, hap is, begin is beginning. It's already begun. It's, it's, in, it's in process. And we want to jump on into the fire. It's, it's so um, unfortunate. And, and how do we combat, combat that? By, by teaching our culture to our kids. By reforming the education system. But the government won't do that. The government won't do that.